Hey guys, okay, so number one, I changed my skin. Pretty blah. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how to work with armor stands. So, here's something you might not know armor stands are an entity, so they will they fall. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Slash entity data at E, which is the closest entity. You're gonna do type equals armor stand all one word make sure the capital letters are the arm a and armor and s and stand comma r equals one which is one block from me no gravity one so it has no gravity now so i can just have it sit in the air now for this one give it no base plate. So you can see it doesn't have a base plate anymore. Let me just show you. You can see the difference. Now over here you can give it arms. Show arms. One. Now you can give all three commands to to them. You can see this guy doesn't have any gravity, he has no base plate, and he has arms. So you can give sword, some armor. There's something cool. Probably already knew this, but this is how you give yourself skulls of, of certain players. Owner. I'm just going to use me. Let's see, I can have my head. On the arm stand. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Now, there are some pretty interesting things you can do with this. Just take these away. So. So, you give it everything you want to give it. Let me just give this guy arms. No gravity. No base plate. And show arms. Okay. So, now... Here's the cool part. Here comes the cool part. So, there's another command you could do that's really cool. It's pose. Don't forget all these brackets. They're really important. Then you're going to choose the body part you want to pose. Then use square brackets for this part. I'm going to do 10 F comma 0 F comma 0 F. So you see my head moved down 10 degrees. Let me do this a little bit more noticeably. There you go. See, isn't that cool? So there are a lot of interesting things you can do with this. For instance, okay, now I'm going to take my right arm, which is the one with the sword, and I'm going to take. If you want to put your hand, your arm up, you have to do negative. Then I'm going to do 50 to my left arm. So it goes backwards. Now with my leg, I'm going to do 30. No, negative 30. Darn it. You see, you have to be really careful about where you put the pluses and mi of the minuses and the negatives and stuff. Otherwise, you're going to mess something up horribly. You also have to be careful how many blocks the within your radius the um armor stand is because if i did say f uh, let me see like enough to get it over here that armor stand could change too and even in like say i didn't want that that could be a bad thing so now it looks like i'm walking with my head down um if i wanted to i could just make a scene where these where all these people are laughing at me and mocking me because i couldn't kill a creeper or something um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool way to do that. This is using the entity data. Entity data. Because you're changing the data of this entity. Now, minecarts are also entities. So, let me just do this. So I could put an armor stand into a minecart.
And I could do lots of cool things with this. Like, I could make it look like there's a guy in there, you know? But, yeah, he'll just ride along in the minecart. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, as you can see, when I break the minecart, um, darn it. So I put the guy in. When I break the minecart, he stays. Um, let me see. So, that's pretty much it. Um, but, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. This is something pretty funny. Bouncing armor stand. But if you use the right command, um, you can make him bounce permanently, and you could do that on an adventure map. And you could make it look like a little kid jumping up and down his trampoline outside his house. And I think that'd be really cool if somebody could figure that out. But for now, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.